Hello, everyone, and we are back with the last session from Ecstasy to Trance, an immersive sound journey um, as well being routine. And with me is like uh, Elise de Bres and um, Claudio Vittori. Um, they are both co founders of a startup called Flower of Sound. And um, this startup basically focuses on well-being, healthcare, kind of like music and sounds and um, applications um, that are that are done in spatial audio. So um, yeah, so before we start into like what will be the last, the final experience on Hybrid Music Lab today, which I'm really looking forward to, um, um, we will hear from Elise um, um, what they're doing, how they do that, why they do that, and um, what Flower of Sound is all about. Then uh, Claudio will tell us a bit more about like the, the musical and technical aspects of that. And um, then I'm gonna come back before we dive into a real um, exclusive spatial audio experience that you can all become part of uh, tonight. So at least the stage is yours. Thank you, uh, Matt. Uh, let me see, can you see my screen then? Uh... What, uh, what I would like to uh, talk to you guys about is that we are Flower of Sound. This is Claudio Vittori. I mean, we're both the co-founders of Flower of Sound. And uh, as Matt said, what we really want to do is increase well-being in people with the use of spatial audio and technology. And when we started our journey, we, we realized how much stress there is in the population and how much money they spend on stress reduction and how urgent this also for healthcare is this problem. And when we dived into it, we also realized how much sound can do for people, how much sound can help people with it and the different techniques used in it from frequencies to ASMR to binaural beats, it's ancient wisdom and modern day science. But we also discovered something else. And that was that if you are in control of your environment, you can really, really reduce your stress levels. And I don't know, you probably have done and wrote your to-do list down and then nothing really changed, but you felt more in control and that really reduced your stress levels. And this we wanted to apply to music and we not call it because now you just have to basically take in what you're listening to. And we call this passive listening. So we decided to create a virtual reality app. And this virtual reality app is in a way a revolutionary approach because what we do is like use all these different techniques that you can use to reduce your stress levels, which is a soundscape, but you can have influence on it. So you can mute this sound, you can pull this closer, put it behind you, and even use the reverberation of the space you are in. And we're using also kinds of chromotherapy, influences of like the different chakras and we're creating different environments where you can listen this so you really become an active listening and full interaction with all the sounds and here i can show you a little bit about how that looks um and now i want to play hold on the video and now it doesn't work that's not good but what i what you can see and i'll show you one slide back um you see here the different you see the different audio stems in there and they all come back and besides this what we are doing um, hold on. something is wrong with my technology yes here we go the basics of what we do we have a music catalog and this music catalog is dolby atmos native so we really use all spatial audio. And from this catalog, we create these immersive products. So the virtual reality app, but we're also ready for augmented rea reality. But we're also doing something else, which is called the immersive space, which is really in the real life. Due to the pandemic, we're not, we haven't rolled out as many immersive spaces which were on the list because a lot of people with spaces thought, let's wait a minute. But now the attention to it is um, growing again and what we do we have these lights which give this soft chromotherapy and then we use the spatial audio to really listen to the different techniques and you can really influence a group and you can do it in different ways from just having a normal meeting or like a yoga session or it could be used in a hospital 
to really use the power of sound and also this immersive sound. We also apply stereo, but it depends on what you would like in your space. And what are we adding to it? We have this native software. And here you have also have this option of choice. You can choose your different moods. Then you can choose your sound, you can choose your lights to really make the atmosphere that you need in that specific moment. You can be make it really powerful or you can make it soft in the background. I sometimes give sound showers, which are basically the modern day variety of a sound bath. And that really can help. And most of the music is actually produced by uh, Claudio. And what we're going to add is now is sensors to really also, because of Corona now, it's like that you can really also see what is the oxygen level in the space, for instance. But also say it becomes darker, what's the effect on the lights or what is the effect on the music so that you can really create a right atmosphere for you in that specific, specific moment. And what we basically want like you to become is the DJ of your own well-being that you have to choose, you can really create your own well-being scene. And for this moment, we created, I always say we, but what I mean is Claudio created a special journey from ecstasy to trance, and um, which brings all of this together. So I would like to give the word to Claudio so he can share more about that. Yes, uh, hi everyone. So, um, as a music producer, I've been inspired to create this kind of composition uh, on Dolby Atmos for uh, headphone, so binaural, which is a tricky that create a stereo file, but into this kind of uh, the two monorail, it's uh, something uh, magical happened because uh, the sound uh, can be perceived in uh, our three axes. And I've been inspired by this uh, book that I really uh, have to say, this we go, come from uh, Jonathan Wayne. And uh, as you see, it's Altered State of Consciousness is an uh, electronic music and audiovisual media. Why? Because, uh, mm, so for example, Feature in uh, 1971 uh, did a uh, cartography of our uh, kind of different energy that we have uh, during uh, 24 hours. So, and um, he describes so well, how can we move from a state of, uh, as he said, uh, let me, uh, trophotrophic to ergotrophic, where in the midpoint is a sort of awakeness where we need to stay awake to control uh, our environments, to not provide food and something like this. So in this kind of uh, premiere that you will uh, listen shortly, you will uh, bring from a state of uh, deep relaxing. So I really ask you to relax yourself, wear your headphone, otherwise you, you miss uh, the magic. And then uh, you will see the progressive that will start with uh, a specific pure tones that we, I mean, I develop uh, many kind of different contents for, as uh, Elisa said, for IoT, but also for virtual reality, and then in Dolby Atmos, uh, using pure tones uh, from uh, shamanic uh, rituals, then Gregorian chants, and then chakra. In this case, I use a uh, 528 Hertz, which is an amazing, uh, I mean, also for me, is one of my favorite one to create uh, this kind of state of deep relaxing. Then from there, you will see that uh, new kind of sounds appears around you. And I want to also mention that all of you will listen a part of just a synthesizer to create drones, which are important too, are um, stands and sounds that we will record, we recorded uh, during um, sound healing with the shamanic. So everything is come from psychoacoustic stuff. It's not uh, uh, nothing uh, digital, so it's real. As well as um, a shamanic prayer that a composer, Argentinian composer, gave to me, which is incredible strong. So, as I said, you will start from uh, this kind of deep state, then you move in the midpoint of this kind of uh, a journey where you are, I mean, aim to be 
awake no in the normal state and then you will go through the uh, the state of the trance as in the, the shamanic ritual it's like that uh, when you start uh, your energy is inside it's something that you can feel inside because it also is an intimate start time then at the end uh, is aim at this kind of listening what will be more strongly and more uh, beat uh, while at the end and the, the beginning is bit less is to process this kind of energy and then to release in order that is a certain something like a cycle no? when you load yourself create this energy to stay in the state so, sorry for the repetition but then you have to release it to balance yourself and stay in this kind of well-being that's uh, is uh, what uh, uh, is uh, behind the, the choice to create this uh, half an hour uh, track. And um, what about uh, special audio? Now it's a trend, of course. Uh, also today, we, uh, there was a lot of topic about uh, Dolby Atmos. And um, of course, that's not just the Dolby Atmos. But let's say that finally, for our perspective i mean sound design perspective music production perspective it's much easy to create something new for our auditory system thanks to this kind of technology that's why you just need to have a net uh, headphone no matter the quality of course the much the quality is and much nuances you can feel and also the far and or close the sound that you will perceive but it's about the perception so adding perception to a sound dealing creates much more meaning of uh, what uh, a particular music a particular sound in this case relaxing sound first and then trans sound then can uh, affect uh, our response uh, human response and uh, that's it so enjoy this kind of uh, journey i really wish that you can uh, feel the difference of a uh, stereo please uh, use a, a, a moderate uh, volume because uh, uh, the difference the, another difference in uh, this kind of uh, production is that the stereo file is used to be mastered so it's like they have to reach uh, some uh, parameters to uh, go till zero db in this case there's much more dynamics because that's no master holy because uh, the, um, the different kind of level and array that I create can be far or really close to you. So let be inspired, close your eyes and then uh, relax yourself and then uh, let us know what you think about. Last but not least, this is a premiere. This is an exclusive content. So it will be online for you, just for you, till Sunday. That will be removed from, uh, from YouTube in this case. And then we will replicate this in physical space. This is an announcement. During Line Check Milan, November 22, 24, probably, in the capsule with 36 speakers. So I'm so excited to bring this kind of opera from just uh, no, the binaural um, format to the real space to, 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 to maybe elevate a bit more the, 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 this kind of uh, new state of uh, no, auditory system uh, triggering. That's it. Yes, and what I would like to add, if you enjoy this or want to know more on our website, flowerofsound.com, um, if you go there, you can either go to the gift page or you can wait till the pop-up. If you register, you get access to um, a page with a lot of different audio where you can listen to different uh, experiences. <coughs> this I wanted to add. All right. Thanks Hi, so much. Hi. And um, thanks so much because this kind of like, I I'm super excited, first of all, because um, there's been, as Claudio said, like there's been a lot of talks about spatial audio and all the Atmos and all this kind of stuff on different panels and sessions. But what comes next is basically an opportunity for people to experience that and yes. not just talk about it, which is uh, always the most important thing because we can talk about everything. If people don't experience it, it always stays in this like meta 
like level of like, yeah, nice, it sounds all good, but what is it all about, first of all? Second, I think that um, what also is amazing is that you're the experience that we are like getting to um, getting to see and hear uh, in, a, in a minute also kind of like culminates a lot of things that we have talked about today because we had like a panel about like how neuroscience and healthcare and frequencies can actually influence your mental state when it's related to pain, but it's also when it's related to calmness and meditation and all that kind of stuff. And it also kind of like um, opens up like a, a new kind of um, universe of possibilities for music producers to like um, take a different approach to like um, make their songs being audible in different ways. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's super amazing. And I'm extremely happy that you give us this um, exclusive premiere of like a spatial audio journey that um, we can all uh, experience now. I'm gonna post now uh, a link into the chat down here, which will have the YouTube link. This YouTube link, as uh, Claudio said, is only available until Sunday because it's an exclusive thing that they have um, built for us tonight. And I would like to ask you, first of all, of course, you need to wear headphones, otherwise it's pointless to listen to it. And second of all, um, on YouTube, you can skip things, but um, that doesn't make sense with this experience. So you should really like get yourself in a mental state that um, you are relaxed and calm down before you press the play button and um, then don't skip and uh, just mm. get the entire experience. It's about 30 minutes long. And um, to wrap up this day, I couldn't think of any better way uh, uh, in doing that. So thanks the two of you, thanks for making this possible for us. Thanks for your really insightful informations that um, we got from the both of you. And um, yeah, for people who are interested in what you're doing, uh, you can um, look up Flower of Sounds uh, in the internet and follow them on social media. And of course, approach them and ask questions. I think that the spatial audio will be one of the major um, new breakthrough technologies for creativity, but also for new economic incomes. It's gonna change a lot of fields um, in, in music and sound and also in games. So um, I'm super happy to have the both of you here. And I'm pretty sure that when we talk about that in five or 10 years, um, people will totally be happy to actually have witnessed that uh, today and be one of the first to get this experience. So yeah, from my side, I'm also gonna wrap up this um, this uh, this hybrid music lab conference part uh, now because I'm I'm also gonna go over to YouTube and listen to that experience. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for for interacting for being part of that. And now all I have to say is like um, think more in ecosystems, not so much in ecosystems, and collaborate with each other, co-create the future music ecosystem. And um, if you're in Berlin, join us at the Kulturbrauerei in a couple of minutes. And um, please uh, dive into this uh, YouTube experience, uh, spatial audio experience on YouTube that I posted in the chat. And um, everyone, thanks to the two of you again and everyone else, uh, have a great evening and um, see you hopefully soon. Hi. Bye. Bye.